Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise, and this is the continuation video of Cost of Capital. You can find the entire collection as a playlist in the description box. So, in this video, we are going to see cost of equity. In that, in the previous video, we have seen the first model that is dividend yield model. In this video, we are going to see the second model that is dividend price plus growth model. Okay, so here we have two different formulas. Under dividend price plus growth method, the first formula is for new shares, and the second formula for existing shares. Okay, the formula is uh, according to this method, K E that is the cost of equity is equal to D one dividend per share divided by N P net proceeds per share into hundred. So this is the formula according to dividend price or dividend yield method. The same formula we are going to apply here, but apart from this, we are going to add growth rate. Okay, so this formula, the previous formula plus G. So G refers to growth rate. This will be given in the problem. Okay, in the same way for existing shares, instead of NP, you have to consider market price per share. Okay, so KE is equal to dividend per share divided by market price per share into hundred plus. Growth rate. Okay, so now let's see the numerical problem for better understanding of this model. See the problem. Your company shares is quoted in the market at twenty five rupees currently. This is market price per share. Okay, the company pays a dividend of rupees two per share. So D one that is dividend per share is two rupees. Market price per share is twenty five rupees. Okay, the investors expected a growth rate of five percentage per year. So G growth rate is five percentage per year. So all the informations are there. With this information, they are asking you to find out. See the first one. Compute the company's cost of equity capital. So based on the information given in the problem, we are going to calculate cost of equity first. So after finding this, then we'll move on to case two and case three. Okay. Now let's see the solution. See the solution. Computation of cost of equity. So what is the formula to find out the cost of equity? So in this problem, they have given market price. No, so this is the formula: D1 dividend per share divided by MP market price per share into hundred plus G. G refers to growth rate. That is also given in the problem. Now substitute the formula: D1 how much? Two rupees per share. Two divided by market price per share twenty five rupees. Twenty five into hundred. Okay. After finding the percentage, then we can add growth rate. So how much growth rate? Five percentage. Okay. Now, KE that is cost of equity is equal to two divided by twenty five into hundred will be getting eight percentage plus five percentage growth rate. So total thirteen percentage. So this is the cost of equity according to dividend price plus growth method. Now we'll see the second case. Look at the second case. If the anticipated growth rate is seven percentage, okay. As per the present scenario, the growth rate is five percentage. No. Now, if the anticipated growth rate is seven percentage, calculate the indicated market price per share. Here, the missing figure is market price and growth rate is instead of five, we are going to apply seven percentage. Okay. We are going to find out the market price. What about dividend per share? So dividend per share, you can take the value as it is. It is given in the problem. So dividend is remain same. Growth rate is seven percentage, and our missing figure is market price. We can use the same formula to find out the market price. Now let's see the solution. See the solution. Computation of market price per share. Here the missing figure is market price per share, and all other informations are given. Okay, but if the growth rate is seven percentage. So existing growth rate is five percentage. No, now the revised value is seven percentage. So D one is remain same two rupees. Uh, market price we have to find out that is the missing figure and K E cost of equity you can consider the existing value thirteen percentage. So all the informations are there, but the missing figure is market price. See the calculation K E thirteen percentage is equal to D one two rupees per share. Divided by market price is missing into hundred. The growth rate is seven percentage. Now thirteen percentage 
minus 7 percentage. Just transfer this value in the left hand side. 13 percentage minus 7 percentage is equal to 2 by market price into 100. Into 2 by MP into 100. Cross multiplication. MP here 6 percentage will be transferred to here. So market price per share is equal to 2 divided by 6 percentage. So 0 0.06 into 100. Market price per share is equal to rupees 33.33. So this is the market price per share. Okay, according to the given information. Now let's see the third case. See the third case. If the company's cost of capital is 8 percentage. That is the cost of equity they have given 8 percentage. And the anticipated growth rate is 5 percentage. That is a G also given in the problem. Calculate the indicated market price. Here the missing figure is market price. If the dividend of rupees 2 per share is to be maintained. Everything they have given. G is 2 per share. And cost of equity is 8 percentage. And growth rate is 5 percentage. So the missing figure is market price per share. Now let's see the calculation. See the calculation. Computation of market price. KE, cost of capital how much? 8 percentage. Dividend per share 2 rupees. Growth rate is 5 percentage. So everything they have given. Simply we are going to substitute in the formula to find out the market price. That is a missing figure. Okay. So KE, 8 percentage. No. 8 percentage is equal to D1, 2 rupees. Divided by market price, that is a missing figure, into 100 plus growth rate 5 percentage. Okay, so now we can transfer the 5 percentage into this side. So 8 percentage minus 5 percentage is equal to 2 by market price per share into 100. So 8 minus 5, 3 percentage is equal to 2 by MP into 100. So you can cross multiply here. MP is equal to market price per share is equal to 2 divided by 3 percentage. 0 0.03 into 100. So market price per share is equal to rupees 66.67. So this is the market price per share. Okay. So this is the way to calculate cost of equity according to dividend price plus growth method. In the next video we are going to see the third model that is earnings price method. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.